again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 28th of January, 2019. Read an interesting article on HuffPost, written by Ed Meza, M-A-Z-Z-A, titled, Trump Turns on Fox News, Even Less Understanding Than Fake News CNN and NBC. The president lashed out at two Fox News reporters over coverage of his proposed border wall. There's an embedded video you might want to take a look at. President Donald Trump lashed out at his favorite network on Sunday, accusing two Fox News journalists of having less understanding of his proposed border wall than the fake news at his usual media targets, CNN and NBC. Trump specifically called out the network's chief White House correspondent, John Roberts, and Washington correspondent Jillian Turner. Roberts subbed for Fox News anchor Chris Wallace on Fox News Sunday, and Turner was part of a discussion on the show. You know, Chris Wallace hates President Trump. Don't know if you noticed that. Chris Wallace is a full-blown, whacked-out, registered Democrat. And if Roberts wouldn't have subbed, Chris Wallace would have done much more damage to President Trump than Roberts ever could. Trump's initial tweet misspelled Turner's name, tagging the wrong person. He then deleted it and fired off a new tweet with the correct tag. You know, if you watch my videos, I told you that I think that polls are totally and completely worthless. And I don't know what Trump's getting his shorts and a knot for on this, because that's what this is all about, poll numbers. Totally worthless. The numbers in Trump's tweet refer to NPR, PBS's NewsHour, Morris poll earlier this month, which found 50% of Latino adults approve of his job as president, a 19% jump since December, The Hill reported. Barbara Carrillo, the director of the poll, told PBS that it was not a poll of Latinos, but a small part of a much larger poll. If isolated, that portion of the poll would have a 9.9 point margin of error. We're really not looking to draw conclusions about what smaller subgroups within populations feel, Cavallo said. The larger finding of the poll was a 39% approval rating for Trump overall, down from 42% in December, versus 53% who disapprove, which is up from 49% last month. In addition, just 30% of Americans said they would definitely vote for Trump in 2020, versus 57% who would definitely vote against him. Again, polls are totally worthless. You call him to Watts or you call him to Beverly Hills, you're going to get different poll results. It's really that simple. But I love it the way the media says, 39% of Americans, really? No, what they should say is 39% of the fools that we called. This is what they believe, and this is the number that we called. But they don't give you that. 39% of Americans. So the natural assumption is that that's what 39% of Americans believe. Total bullcrap. Polls are worthless. And again, I don't know what Trump's getting himself all riled up for. And once again, he's lucky that Chris Wallace took that day off and he was subbed by Roberts because Chris would have done a whole lot more damage, as he usually does. I'll attach the link. Take a look at the embedded video and let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. Polls are worthless.